morning guys i'm glad to see you again well i guess i can't see you but you can see me so today for your grammar lesson you're going to be talking we're talking some more about verbs okay so we've talked about articles which are small words and they go with our noun we've talked about nouns and adjectives and we moved on to verbs so we know verbs are actions they are action words they show movement Okay, that's why it's a red ball, red like the sun because it has energy and a ball because it moves around. So that's what we need to remember about a verb. But what we're going to talk about today is verb tenses, which means um, did it happen in the past? Did it happen in the future or did it happen now? Um, mostly we're going to talk about present and past tense today. Um, so we'll say future tense for another time. But here I'm going to share my screen. And here we go. Okay. So there are a couple different rules for what you need to do to a verb tense. Okay. So if I have a noun that ends in two consonants, all I'm going to do is add ed. So if I have the word walk, walk, if I wanted to say it happened in the past, I'm going to say walked. If I have talked, talk, I'm going to say talked. If I were to say um, dress, like go get, um, I dress in the morning, I would say dressed. I got dressed yesterday. If I wanted to say, um, give me a minute, I'll think of another one. But we see that they both, they all end in two consonants at the end. So I have LK, I have LK, doo -doo -doo, and I have SS. So it ends in two consonants, okay? So then I just add ED. Now we're going to look at these ones, okay? If I have a word like mop that has a short vowel, okay, it has a short vowel, then I'm going to double the last consonant, double consonant, and add ED. Let me show you. So instead of mop, if I put, it just added ED, that says moped. So I need to keep that short vowel sound, that short O sound. So I'm going to add a second P and then add ED. That's mopped. Now, stopped, S-T-O-P-P-E-D. Clapped, C-L-A-P-P-E-D. Dragged, D-R-A-G-G-E-D. So if you have a short vowel sound, A, E, E, A, O, you need to double the vowel, double the consonant, I put a comma there and add ed okay now there are some irregular verbs which we'll talk more about these but i wanted to show you um some words that don't follow either one of those rules their verb changes completely from our present tense to our past tense so if i say right now i sit i if i'm talking about what i did yesterday i don't say sitted or if i just wrote this that says cited I can't, this is sitted, sitted isn't a word. I have to change it completely and it becomes sat. Now, today I bring my book. Yesterday I, I didn't bringed, it's not bringed. That's not a word. I brought my book, okay? Today I speak, yesterday it's not speaked, spoke. Okay, so some of those are a little tricky. Mostly for today, we're going to um, work on these two rules. We want the ones that if they end in two consonants, you add ED. Or if they have a short vowel, then you double the consonant and add ED. Okay, so we're talking about changing the present tense to the past tense. And we're focusing on these two rules. All right, if you have any questions, ask your teacher. I hope this made sense. Um, and I will post your follow-up. Bye, guys.